Okay, a lot of people have asked me uh, how I sharpen my tools and how I sharpen my knives and my, my V-tool. And what I use, all right, I purchased this several years ago. This is called a, uh, uh, an ultimate sharpener from Chipping Away. And what it is, is it's a strop belt on like a belt sander. You may be able to make one of these. I think they run around $200, what they do. But ever since I bought it, it's been the greatest thing in the world I've ever used. And this is the only way that I sharpen my knives. A lot of people have asked me, well, you know, your knives are, are pretty sharp, and how can I get my knife that sharp? Well, you can, you can strop your knife with just a regular strop, but I like this ultimate sharpener. And, uh, uh, it, it, to me, it's, it's simple, it's easy to do, and I use a little compound on it. And uh, let me show you how this thing works now. Uh, you just turn it on. It's just, like, it's just a belt. It's a straw belt, and it's on the, uh, um, it's on a, uh, just like a belt sander. And I take a little bit of this stropping compound, I just lay up against it, Put a little bit on there, and before I uh, before I uh, when I first got this belt, I put a little oil on it too because to, to keep it sort of uh, 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 limber. And, and um, let me show you how this works. Now I'm gonna take my knife, and when I got this Ron Wells knife, I didn't. I've never had to really sharpen it. I just stropped it the whole time. And let me show you how this works. All I do is take my knife, and the direction of the belt is going this way. I just lay it on there, just like that. You don't, you want to, you don't want to lay it on too long, and then I turn it the other way. Okay. And when I stop that Ronald Wells knife, I'll tell you what, that thing just is just gets just as sharp as can be. And that's all I do. That's all I do. And then I, I have a over here I have a little delta um, grinder that I, I put a little felt pad on right here. And I turn that on and very very simply, I just knock the burrs off that on this side and on this side. Oh, you got to be careful now. But and that's the only sharpening that I do. And make a little noise. And on the V tool, I sharpen my V tool like this. A lot of people try to sharpen one side and sharpen the other. On a V-tool, it's just like a cow. Let your motion go like this. See? You sharpen the outside of it. Then I'll take it and kind of put it in between the belt a little bit. But that's how I sharpen my V-tool. Then I come over here, and I knock off the little birds right here on it. And I just love this thing. I, I love it. It's a, a, a wonderful tool. And that's how I keep my knife sharp. And uh, now, a lot of people use, you can use a regular strop that you just do by hand, but this is just a power strop, and it's, it's made by chipping away. And you can find chipping away on the internet. And it's called the Ultimate Sharpener. And I'm not saying you have to have this. I just found that this works good for these Ron Wells knife. Like I said, you lay that you lay that knife as that belt is going around, you lay that knife flat on there. Now you don't just really you don't need to put a lot of pressure, you just just lightly and just sort of go across like that. Then you turn it around and you do the same thing on this side. Just lightly, see, flat up against there, 
and it'll sharpen that knife every time. It really will. I mean, I, I've had good luck. I, when I bought this Ron Wells knife, I have never, never had to actually take it and sharpen it. I've stopped it the whole time. And as you can see, you know, the knife gets very, very sharp. But the Ron Wells knife is a very thin knife, so you want to be very careful not to try to sharpen it a whole lot. Because remember, when you sharpen something, every time you sharpen it, you're taking a little bit of metal off. But if you can get it sharp and just stop it about every 15, 20 minutes when you carve, I'm going to tell you something. It'll stay just as sharp as can be. And uh, like I said, every once in a while I'll put a little oil on here. It doesn't really matter. Three and one oil, whatever. Keep this, this, this limber. You just turn that thing on. And lightly touch it. And lightly touch it. And I come over here and lightly touch this just to get the burners off. And let me tell you something. Uh, I have I have kept my knife short. Now this thing also comes with a uh, another type of belt that you can sharpen with. But you, you on a wild whale's knife, you've got to be very very careful because they are thin. And uh, uh, that you don't want to take too much of the blade off there. And you don't want it to get too hot. Now, don't just, just you know, lean it against that thing and just leave it there. You want to just sort of touch it back and forth, in other words. So the blade doesn't get hot. And that's the type of sharpening system that I use on my knives and on my V-tool is this ultimate sharpener. And I love it. I'm going to tell you something. Now, I know there's other ways to sharpen. I know there's a lot of people that teach you different ways to sharpen, but this is my way to do it, and uh, uh, it's been good for me. So you just have to sort of find the best way. Uh, like I said, this unit's about $200. It is. And, uh, uh, and also, they also make, I don't know if you can see it or not,